Welcome home everybody. I've got a quick little review for you guys about the EWI Link Wi-Fi Wireless Smart Switch Relay Module Mini PC Desktop Switch Card Restart Switch Turn On Off PC Remote Control. Obviously this is another AliExpress product and I've got it right here. It just came in the mail today and we're just gonna quickly unbox it and uh, see if this thing actually works and how it works because that's actually kind of interesting. This is the package I received in the mail. Uh, it's pretty small. It does make a little bit of noise, which worries me a little bit. But uh, yeah, let's open it. I guess we won't have to use our knife because this is literal garbage can material. All right, cool. Turns out we do need our knife. So let's just open this bad boy up. Here we are. There we go, that's the product you received. There's nothing else in the package. Just drop that off screen. So this is what it says. Wi-Fi startup card. Suit for all computer with PCIe socket. Control your computer from anywhere. Works with voice controllers and more. Which I'm very excited about because I don't want to get out of my bed in order to turn on my computer. So let's open this baby up. There we go. Okay, so you got a little baggie with a screwdriver, that's very nice of them. A, um, a back plate, a big one. It says wireless starting up card in gold. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty fun little card. It has a Wi-Fi configuration button with a nice tactile click. And I'm pretty sure that if this is in your computer, you, yeah, you would still be able to easily press this. That's not a problem. All right, very cool. Let's get it installed uh, on itself first with the little bracket. That's the QR code, just in case you don't get this with your product. And then it says, open a computer. <laughs> open your computer mainframe. Hell yeah, boy, we hacking. All right, so what we have in the package is all screws actually that you need, which is very surprising because I didn't pay a lot of money for this, but it does come with everything that I need, which is special for buying Chinese parts. All right, so as it turned out, this was a little bit loose. So we are gonna have to tighten that just slightly. And then other than that, it's all properly connected and strong. These two holes, you don't need to worry about. They don't do anything. And now we're just going to is grab this, jam it on there. And then once you hear a click, you actually have to use quite a lot of force. There we go. You could probably hear that click. And then you can just move it out of the way a little bit. It won't really have any trouble with interference. So I'm just gonna unscrew this slightly, pull the cable under it. I mean, don't ever do this, but you know, now it looks neat. I like how this looks. So we're doing it. Grab the little Wi-Fi antenna which presumably by the shape of it is a little 2.4 gigahertz. And there we have it, a fully constructed little board that will sit the other way around. So it's gonna sit like this inside of your computer case. And it's, it's honestly not as flamboyant or visible as I thought. The only thing I am worried about right here is an LED. I really hope I can turn this off because it would be super annoying to have my computer off. Uh, I sleep in the same room as my computer to have some stupid LED just going off. So we might remove that if that turns out to be a problem. But other than that, let's turn off the computer and install this. All right, the computer is off and now we just have to figure out which one is the power cable from right here. Yes. Okay, cool. So as it says right here, it says power switch on it and we need to extend this into the cart and out of the cart. All right, so here we have the cable with the little pins on the end and the little normal ones on the other end. And we're just gonna plug this into the power switch one. The polarity doesn't matter because it's just a switch. It doesn't do anything else other than connect the circuit. So this is fine. 
as you can see right here, there are they are slightly loose in there. So what I might do, I might add some tape. So your mileage may vary, but I'm just gonna use some tape to make sure this is all okay. I'm breathing too heavy. <laughs> we need to grab the other cable from the set and we need to stick that in here, here, in the power switch one and mine holds it in place. So now we can actually plug the entire thing back into its spot. Alright, cool. Alright, so now we have to install the card into one of the slots. There we go. That wasn't actually that tight, but just... There we go. We removed it. And now we just take this bad boy out. This is very stupid and it doesn't say it correctly in English. This, the top side, which says non-polarity, goes towards your motherboard. And then the power switch sh should be connected to your actual power switch. We're just gonna jam these two in there. I just wanted to have them right side up, even though I never see them. So let's screw in the thumb screw that I removed. And also install the antenna. All right, you're just gonna have to trust me that I installed the antenna. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> who really has benefit if I don't do it, so. All right, so let's turn on the power. Okay, nothing broke so far, that's good. And as you can see, it does have a stupid little light. And now we're gonna grab our phone because we need to connect to it. All right, so there you go. You need to download the eWeeLink smart home app. You need to create an account. Please don't use your real account or anything. Just use some, just use some burner account. And at the bottom here, you have a plus, quick pairing, add one device, and then enter your Wi-Fi password. All right, so now we just wait. All right, so for some reason it took forever and then all of a sudden it actually worked for no apparent real reason. So your mileage may vary. Now all I gotta do is name it computer. Let's just assume that this is in focus. I actually spelled it wrong and now it says commuter. But let's press the big button and see what happens behind me. I really hope this works and it doesn't blow up. Moment of truth. Oh yes, look at that, it just turned on my dusty ass computer. Woo, <laughs> yeah, that's cool man. Before I actually used this, uh, I didn't really have any other solution. What I used was one of those, one of those plug sockets you could uh, access with Wi-Fi. And to be fair, it sucks because for some reason uh, because of 5 volt and everything else, it drains the CMOS battery, clears out my BIOS, and uh, yeah, it's just really annoying. And with this, I will be able to do it safely. I can just turn off and on my computer, and it might be installing updates or doing some other stupid stuff that could absolutely break your computer. I also forgot about one thing. So right now my computer is on. Let's see if it'll turn off when I press the button. Let's see. <laughs> yes, that still works. So that's amazing. All right, I'm back. I'm actually super excited about this. Uh, this really works as well as you would think because the card actually knows when the computer is on or when it's off somehow. Don't really know exactly how to do that, but whatever. Dude, it works, it works well. I can turn off and on my computer remotely now, which is great because before, like I had to turn off my computer, then I had to uh, turn it off in the app. And then in the morning I had, uh, I was able to turn it on, but then I had to manually turn it off again, which is super annoying. And sometimes the BIOS would clear and now that doesn't happen anymore because it just sends out the signal, just like I would be at pressing the little button, you know? That's sick, that's so cool, that's so cool, I love it. So let's talk about worth. Is this is this product worth it? So I paid 10 euro 28 for it, and I will be using this thing literally every single day of the week. Like when I wake up, I'm just gonna go on my phone or I'm just gonna ask Google, 
and I'm gonna say, hey, turn on my computer. Once I actually wake up, which takes a while for me, waddle right to my computer, sit on the desk, and it will be all loaded up and ready to go. Is it gonna be worth it for a productivity standpoint? Not really right now, because I'm not spending a lot of time outside because of obviously we're gonna die from a pandemic. But honestly, once that's over and I'm out in the field and I need to use my computer real quick, that's gonna be amazing. That's gonna be absolutely amazing because I don't have to rely on like, is it gonna turn on? Uh, are the BIOS um, uh, features saved? No, it simply will always turn on this way. It will always turn on, I think. Judging my other eWe Link products, it will always turn on. And I'm super excited about that. Uh, they're they are actually pretty reliable. Uh, yeah, all I, all I can have is love for this product. And it's kind of crazy because usually uh, things from AliExpress, they're like, woo, a little bit finicky, this and that. Obviously, connecting it to my phone was a little bit finicky. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm using my computer, so I can't really show you right now. Yeah, using it, there is no problem at all. Once you're connected, you're connected and it's all over. You don't ever have to do that ever again. And I think I'm gonna use this product for years and years and years, but it's absolutely sick. It's so cool. I'm gonna be remote managing my computer so much now. And whenever I need to upload anything or like I'm missing files on, uh, on work on, or whenever I'm on holiday or something, I can just turn on my computer, zip zap, and we're done. We're in boys, let's go. I'm super excited about this. Let me know what you think about this thing uh, in the comments down below. Is there a better solution? I don't think there is. And I couldn't really find anything local because then I would have bought it locally. But yeah, from China, it seems to be the only option with this, especially at this price point, because I paid 10 euros for it, which is like 12, maybe 13 US dollars. And honestly, it works perfectly. And I was a little bit skeptical putting it in my expensive computer, but it, it works. It works, man. I'm super surprised. And I'm also really surprised on how smooth this worked. I instantly added it to Google. So that's happy. Uh, my computer is happy because it won't ever have to be shut off by, by, by deleting the power from it. So yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and, uh, hopefully this was a little bit of a short video, but, um, you know, no promises. I'm a little bit of a chatty boy and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. All right. So f one little final adjustment I did to this thing is, uh, put a little bit of tape on there because it had a red light which you can kind of see right now. And I don't like lights in my computer when it's off, so. Let's just, uh, let's just turn it on one more time. Amazing.